just these three slides, but just in fact any one of these three slides, you can do hardcore magic. The kind of magic that uh, people can immediately see is, oh my God, it's not intellectual. It's not like finding a card or reading someone's mind, which I love, I love all that stuff, but there's something about pure sleight of hand. Uh, Woody Allen, who was an amateur magician, the actor, director Woody Allen, he said the real magic of magic is sleight of hand. And I think he's right. There's something about the connection between your hands, your mind, other people, what they see, it's so organic. I also love the fact that unlike a lot of tricks involving more gimmicks and set up things and written scripts, is no two performers do the same sleight in quite the same way. Brilliant, advanced, convincing sleight of hand involves your whole body, your whole personality. Taps in the way you move, you move your hands, you move your elbows, the way you use your body to interact and connect with people, how you focus, all that stuff. And keep in mind, almost any small object you can do most of these moves with, whether it's a ring, a piece of chewing gum off the ground while people are screaming, oh my God, it's cholera, cholera again. Whatever's going on, any small object you can use. So that's one of the things that makes sleight of hand so beautiful, is that once you get a really strong collection of slights, you can uh, really do amazing magic anytime, anywhere. I actually don't do a lot of magic with English pennies, but I wanted a high contrast so you guys could really see this. This is an old style one penny English penny copper coin, and this is just actually one of the washers from my holy moly magic trick. And I was hoping that these two would really be a real contrast for you so you could learn exactly what's going on. So the first switch is by J.B. Bobo. It's just called the Bobo switch. And yes, B-O-B-O, -B -O, he wasn't just a clown. I'm not even sure. I think he might have been a clown. But he also was a, really the father in some regards of modern coin magic. He put together so many different slights and techniques. So the Bobo switch. Uh, one of the items, one of the switch starts in right hand finger palm, which is what makes this so practical. I mean, it's just there, okay? Now, this is about using repetition because you can do it once, but it's always fun. Then you maybe you borrow a coin from somebody, whatever the case. In this case, I got the English penny. And I'm going to throw it. And I'm not going to handle it at the tip. I'm going to handle it more casually at the tips of the two hands. And practice this. Basically, you're, ch you're throwing. You're just chucking it. It's very natural. Nothing fancy about it. And this larger action of the hand not placing but sort of, and note how once I drop it in, the hand falls down to my side, okay? Very natural. And this large action gives me the cover I need to switch the two coins. And all I do, do it once or twice to convince them, okay? Condition them. Then I'm gonna pretend to throw this one, and I'm just gonna let this one fall out of finger palm. It's gonna go right from finger palm, and then the thumb and first finger are going to take this coin, pull it back into the hand, and press it right into finger palm, okay? So it's not as subtle. There's nothing subtle about it. But the large, the meta action really sells the idea that the same coin was tossed into the hand. All the eyes, you're locked here with your eyes. And boy, it looks like you just threw that washer and it changed to an English penny. Okay, so that's Bobo Switch. Second, pick up, you can show both sides of this. This, this is a nice three, three change routine. So notice that I can do this as, a, as an obvious switch of one thing for another magic moment, or I could have just borrowed a quarter and switched it for another quarter with the date I already know for a prediction trick. So you can do it as a visible switch or an invisible switch. Second one is Vernon's Diver and Spellbound move. Such a pretty move. Showing your left hand, I talk about this a lot, and this is one of the moves used on my holy moly magic trick which is you show that left hand absolutely empty. There it is. You come over and you just rub the coin at your fingertips. It changes into another coin, and oh no, there's no coin here either. How beautiful is that? The structure is so clever. So what I'm doing is I've got the English penny, showing it, and as I come over, the washer that's in finger palm, I come over, and as I'm apparently just rubbing the coin, the, I, as soon as I've covered this coin, I'm gonna let it fall just down. I don't, I don't shake the hand. I don't pull it down with my thumb. I simply release the grip just enough so that this falls. And at the same time, I leave behind to deposit the washer. And just rub and let that mat stretch that moment rather than going from here to there where it looks like you're just placing something on there. You want to stretch it. Where you come over and you rub and they see the change. And you're not saying, look, there's nothing here because the next step is what's here. So you're not going like that. You sort of do this and you're using the right hand and the fingers to point to basically, it's, you're literally saying, behold, behold the change. But on a secondary level, you're also showing the hand empty. Okay. 
okay? So pretty. There's that English penny. There's that change. The last change is a variation. The last slide is sort of a modern version of the classic French drop, all right? Now, the, the original French drop is you hold a coin here, you come over and you grab, and you're gonna let that coin fall, and you're gonna go away with nothing, okay? Now, it can look very good, okay? Especially if you keep the, ha the, the fingers flat, really, rather than doing this large, weird action that amateurs do, if you do a more precise take, and really looks like you've taken something. However, this grip here, even though I love it as a change, as a sort of a one coin vanish, getting ready here immediately shouts, I'm getting ready to do something. So there's a more, uh, for uh, as I was just a kid, I learned this more modern version, okay? Where you're gonna take the coin, and boy, it looks like you just dropped it in that hand, okay? Let me get the washer here so it can catch the light. Here, I'm holding it here, showing it, and putting it in the hand. And these two fingers really emphasize. And what I'm doing is much the same action, where the coin is being allowed to fall from this position, but I don't start here, okay? It's kind of tight. I start loose, showing both sides. And when I apparently let it fall, it's gonna actually fall into, fall straight onto the finger palm position, okay? It's a gentle action, you just let it fall. And you'll see, with, but you really need to practice. Beat one is here, then the finger tips are covering the edges of these fingers for a second. It apparently falls, it's actually on fingertip. You come away, you close the hand, come away like this, and immediately the right hand falls to your side. Now that can be used as a vanish, but you can also use it as a change, right? You can also take, uh, you can also, we just did the spellbound, In our second change was this, showing that empty. Now I take this, position it for the modern version of the French drop, do that, and because I already have the English penny, finger palm, it's in the hand. All three of those together make for this gorgeous change where they see English penny. Maybe you borrowed a ring or whatever, changing it to this washer. Washer changes back to English penny and to finish English penny, back to washer. You guys know I listen to you. And one of the comments that comes up a lot is, hey, more card tricks, or hey, more coin magic, or hey, more tricks of the ordinary borrowed objects. So I've got videos of all three kinds coming very soon. I recently taped a whole batch of new ones. So they're all coming your way. Uh, I listen to you, so you listen to me. Notifications on. Turn those notifications on. So when you subscribe to my channel, you uh, find out the video first before any of your other friends at school learn the trick, then fry them with it, okay? Uh, so notifications on, as always, click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and thank you so much for watching.